stupid? <laughs> <laughs> the next segment is about fashion. I love clothes. I used to work at this vintage slash lingerie shop. It wasn't vintage lingerie. <laughs> it was lingerie, and then there was vintage. Um, and then I also worked in this other very fancy, like, organically made material kind of store that fired me, because I was very bad. <laughs> I was a very bad boy. I was like, fucked at the register. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I like clothes, and I had, when I first moved to New York, I had a lot of time, and a lot of clothes, and I loved thrift, so I would make this blog where I, I went on my roof, and I would take pictures of my clothes, and then give little stories to go along with where I got my clothes from. So here's some pictures from, this was, I guess, when did I start this? Um, I think in 2007? Oh, someone answering? <laughs> Are you guessing? Do you know? <laughs> did you follow this blog? No. It's private no, now. I'm just, I'm just judging by the clothing. Oh, by the style? Yeah. It's hard to judge <laughs> It's 2011, yeah. 2011, okay, great. Oh, I'm way off. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, I still have these clothes, so. <laughs> um, and then, what am I supposed to, am I supposed to tell the stories? What do I do, what do, I do at this point? I think you want to uh, find out if anyone would like to be featured mm -hmm. on. That is it, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> now what I want to do, <laughs> so usually I would take a picture, write a story about it, or just be like, I got it from this location. And, and I used to like go on tour a lot with my improv group, and, and we would always like go shopping in Canada or South, South Carolina, and there would be a story behind it. So I want to invite someone up who has an interesting piece of clothing that they want to talk about. And if you had a blog, we could figure out how to put a story behind it. Yeah, you come out up here. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi. back when they were like eight, so. That's a big, yeah. yeah. Took it out of the attic, and I'm like, it's my white shirt, I yeah. love white shirts. Was this supposed to be a dress shirt for your nephew? Yeah, it was his church shirt, you know, like the vest goes over, and the blazer, and yeah. the tie, and I was like, I'm taking this, and I also like took their old shoes, like. Your nephew's old shoes? Yeah. Wait, how big, I don't <laughs> They're like 16 now, but this was when they were like, I don't know, 8 or like 10, I don't know. I guess I, my little brother's 7 years younger than me, and I would wear a lot of like his old basketball shirts and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I actually, uh, when I went natural, I shaved my head when I was 19, and he was having his 5th grade graduation, So, and we were the same height, mm -hmm. and his teacher came up and was like, are you guys twins? And I was like, I'm a woman! I'm a woman! cargo shorts and there was a weed clip in there uh -oh. and he told like my weed? mom yeah and he was like you know she shouldn't be doing this and I was like that's really like great of you to say like I'm proud of you for not following my footsteps yeah but also like he ratted you out yeah there were like snitches 
They tell my mom everything. So. But you have a good enough relationship where you exchange clothes. Yeah. Yeah. I just stole my mom's um, choir <laughs> robe and wig for a sketch, and she oh, called yeah, me. Oh, I thought you were like life. No, <laughs> she's like, don't <laughs> play in that. That's what Jesus wear, and I was like, girl. Jesus wear. Yes. That's that's a nice term for that. Okay. <laughs> um, where is your mom now? In Jersey. Okay, so not too far. No. And do you usually steal? Her regular clothes or yeah, just her Jesus wear? Yeah, I did. I uh, stole so many of my mom's clothes. I opened up a shop called In Carrie's Closet and I sold it on Etsy. What? Yeah. <laughs> In Carrie, so it was fitting. And then I was just like lifting everything else and then everything was in Carrie's closet. So, yeah. Did she ever find out about that? Yeah, and then I like borrowed something from my aunt and I didn't return it. She was like, did you sell it in Carrie's, whatever? And I was like, listen, I'm like, I mean, it's nice that you put your mom's name in the store. <laughs> Even though you stole and lied to her. <laughs> and she was cool with it. She felt like, you know. I stole a lot of my mom's clothes too. Or I asked her, I had to ask before, because she keeps everything mm -hmm. and then and she has a fit in most of the stuff now anyway. Right? So I was like, well, let's not let it go to waste. Right. I'll take it. Uh, but she wouldn't let me have anything until I showed her what I was taking. Mm -hmm. Like, can I have this skirt? And then she'd be like, oh, that's the skirt that I wore when I was like 30. Right. It so seems like your hips are wider <laughs> than what mine were when I was your age. And I'm like, just give me the skirt. Right. I don't need it. Like, you're not wearing it anywhere, yeah. boo. Don't body shame me. Give me the skirt. <laughs> What's your favorite article from your mom's closet? Mm, she had a lot of great sequin shirts, Okay. Um, which she would not let me have because she was convinced she would lose weight and then want to wear them again. <laughs> but if she wears them, they don't look cool. They just look like, oh, you never gave up on the sequin thing. But if I wear them, it's like, whoa, that's a thing. She doesn't like when I tell her that. <laughs> well... I had a blast talking to you. Me too. Do you have anything else on you that's like a vintage or a No, this is thing? like all stuff that they made in like Cambodia or something like H&M, you know, down in the gap. Sorry. I mean, you got support from Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for talking. Thank you.